I was really inspired and excited by the demonstrations of how 5G technology can be deployed but also how it can be used to bring real benefits to people. Uh, I think particularly people who live in the more rural parts of our country, the potential here to make access to healthcare uh, much easier is significant. So I really pay tribute to the work that's been done here by you know, a world-class team and uh, look forward to seeing uh, how this work develops. It's incredibly exciting to see what the potential benefits of 5G are for healthcare, for tackling climate change, um, for providing better public services for citizens here and across Scotland. Uh, universities have a key role to play. The University of Glasgow is very much in uh, the driving seat here at the University of Strathclyde. Uh, together they will host the, the 5G centre um, and you know the research that's been done here uh, the look at both deployment and application is genuinely world leading. Um, its applications uh, cover um, uh, transport, uh, smart energy, healthcare, uh, rural connectivity um, uh, and numerous other phases. You know, if we're going to realise the significant benefits we know 5G can bring to our economy, the report published today by the Scottish Futures Trust says that by 2035 this could add £17 billion to our economy and create 160,000 new jobs, uh, as well as the real-life benefits it can bring to people. Uh, this work is really important and uh, it's exciting and inspiring.